Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about extreme ultraviolet lithography or EUV. You probably know that making the most advanced computer chips, the ones smaller than 7 nanometers that power everything from AI to our best smartphones, require incredibly sophisticated machines. Right now, there is only one company in the world capable of making these EUV lithography machines. That's ASML, based in the Netherlands. They have a complete monopoly. But recent news from China suggests there might be stirrings of competition, specifically focusing on a critical component of the EUV, that's the EUV light source. So what is the EUV light source? Think of the whole EUV machine as a super advanced projector. The light source is like the ultra-powerful, incredibly specific light bulb needed to project the chip patterns onto the silicon wafer. Getting this light source right is extremely difficult. So what is ASML's approach? ASML cracked this using a technique called laser produced plasma or LPP. How it works is fascinating. They fire a massive high power carbon dioxide laser at a tiny droplets of tin, smaller than a human hair, thousands of times a second. When the laser hits the tin, it vaporizes it into a plasma that emits just the right wavelength of EUV light at 13.5 nanometers. This CO2 laser system is incredibly powerful, delivering over 10 kilowatts, which is essential for manufacturing chips at high speed, but it has drawbacks. First of all, it's huge. The laser system itself is enormous. And the second, it's inefficient. It guzzles electricity. It's wall plug efficiency, that's the term is used. How much electrical power drawn from the wall actually turns into a laser power is less than 5%. That means a lot of energy is wasted, mostly as heat. And another thing is it's expensive, both to build and to operate, partly because of that inefficiency. So what is the new contender? Solid state laser approach. Now, this is where the new research from China comes in, led by Dr. Lin Nun, who interestingly used to head up light source technology development at ASML before returning to China. His team at the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics has also developed an LPP EUV light source, but with a key difference. They are using solid state laser instead of CO2 laser. What's the big deal about solid state lasers? First of all, it's compact. They are generally much smaller than the industrial CO2 laser ASML uses. And second, they are efficient. This is the major potential advantage. Solid state lasers have wall plug efficiency around 20% or even higher. That's four times more efficient than the CO2 approach, meaning less wasted energy and potentially lower operating costs. And another thing is it's a mature technology, high power, Solid state lasers have advanced rapidly and are already commercially available for other industrial uses. So, how did this new solid state approach stack up right now? The Chinese team's experimental setup achieved a conversion efficiency of 3.42%. Conversion efficiency is crucial. It measures how effectively the laser power hitting the target, like tin, is converted into useful EUV light. Now, 3.42% is significant. It's competitive with, and even slightly better than, some recent results from other international research groups working on similar solid-state EUV concepts. However, it's still quite a bit lower than ASML's commercial CO2-driven systems, which operate around 5.5% conversion efficiency. That difference matters a lot for the overall power output needed for high-volume chip manufacturing. The researchers believe their theoretical maximum efficiency could approach 6%, which would be very competitive. They also note that even at around 3% efficiency, a kilowatt-level solid-state laser, which is available today, could generate enough EUV power in the watt range for important applications like testing EUV masks or validating exposure techniques, even if not yet full-scale production. So, back to our main question. Is ASML's monopoly ending? Not quite yet. This research demonstrates significant progress on the light source, which is arguably the most complex part, but an EUV lithography machine is far more than just a light source. It involves incredibly precise optics, vacuum systems, wafer handling, and integration on a scale that is mind-bogglingly complex. As ASML's own CEO noted, building a complete, reliable EUV machine takes many, many years, even if you can generate some EUV light. However, this development is important for several reasons. First of all, it's an alternative path. It explores a potentially more efficient and compact technology path, which is solid-state lasers, for generating EUV light. If the efficiency and the power can be scaled up sufficiently, it could become a viable alternative in the long run. The second, it's homegrown technology for China. Facing restrictions on accessing ASML's most advanced machines, 
Developing any part of this critical technology domestically is a major goal. This represents a step, albeit an early one, in that direction. And the number three is a intermediate users. As mentioned, even a less powerful source has potential users in the semiconductor ecosystem for things like inspection and research. So let's wrap it up. ASMS position as the sole provider of the complete EUV manufacturing machines seems secure for the foreseeable future given the immense complexity of the entire system. But the light source technology itself might see competition emerge. This solid state laser research is a fascinating development, showcasing ingenuity and addressing some of the drawbacks of the current CO2 approach. While it has hurdles to overcome in terms of matching the power and proven reliability of ASML source for high volume manufacturing, its potential for higher efficiency and compactness makes it something we absolutely need to keep an eye on. The race for semiconductor supremacy is pushing innovation on all fronts. That's all for today. What do you think about this development? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech, geopolitics, political economics videos. See you next time. Bye.